Hey, good morning, friends. God is powerful. Whew. Last night was yesterday. They said, hey, uh, can you mind you mind working till? Can, can you work till 12, 30? I said, well, I'll, I'll try. But they had the, uh, they had the, uh, the wisdom back door. That morning, I started on Ridgeline. I was on the, uh, the right break, and I did that. I just signed off on this process, okay? And I did the right break for the first couple of processes. Cause that's still going to mess up. It's not easy. I still need a little help here and there. But but I worked last night till 10.30, okay? 6, 6 in the morning to 10.30. So I pulled a double. It's a little more than a double. It's 16 and a half hours. So that's, whew. <laughs> but guess what? I'm still going to praise his holy name every day. We got to get up, go ye into our world. Praise God with every creature, guys and gals. He is the rock. He is the rock. Let's listen. Let's listen. In Deuteronomy 32, 4. Y'all please turn there with me. Hello, Miss Nanya. Hello there, Miss, Mr. Rajay. God bless you. Amen. Y'all pause for a second. We all search for that. Deuteronomy 32. Pause for one second. God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much. Saturday morning. Praise the name. I ain't got to take a shower yet, so I'm warming up my water. Because I had to work so late. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Who let the earth hear his voice? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let people rejoice. Because he is the rock, okay? We're going to open up with a song, too. We need to stand on the rock of life. On solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. On solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Yes, ma'am, he is the rock. That's the topic this morning. He is the rock. Didn't run in 32 for him. We turn that with me. <clears throat> it says right here, he is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and, a, and without iniquity, just and right is he. Okay, let me read them one more time. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. Now please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all follow you because you are a rock. Help us to stand on the solid rock. As all the other ground around us is sinking sand, Lord. Help us all not get in that sinking sand and then be, and then not be taught, taught about you, not surrender our lives to you, not, not to understand that you are the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by you, Lord. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty, as you said in John 14, 6 and Revelation 1, 8. Help us all memorize your word and meditate on it and Study your word daily, Lord, because it's what's going to last forever. The grass wither, the flower fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Heavens and earth shall pass away, but your words, your words, Lord, can I shall not pass away. Help us to dig in and try not to sin. As is Isaiah 48 and Matthew 24, 35. Help us, I didn't have plans for this. I didn't have plans for those verses. God, you're so powerful. The Holy Spirit put the right word first all the time, Lord. You're so amazing. Help us memorize your word, Lord. Help them, my boys and one of my young men. Help them have a good day, good, good weekend. Help us this, this, this day, Lord. Thank you so much for giving me the courage and strength to work yesterday. 16 and a half hours, Lord. What a, what a blessing, Lord. Please, Jesus, help me, Lord. Let me get caught up on my bills, Lord. I get, I, 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 as I've gotten behind, as I've used. You know everything, Lord. Please, Jesus, help me. Help us all, Lord. Help us all. And please help these people quit asking me for money because I, I struggle on myself, Lord. You know that, Lord. Please, Jesus. God is all, direct us all. Help me here this morning as I preach. Thank you so much. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. All right, all right, all right. Wallo. Hello there. Hello, Mr. Ninja Raji. Reggie again. Praise the Lord. But he is the rock. Let's listen up, folks. Let's listen up. Number one. We'll go to 32 1. Okay. Let's listen up, folks. Pass, not perish the Lord. It's praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord. P R A I S E. Please fix that if you can. I don't want people confused. You know how this world is. They're going to judge. Oh no, Paris. The Lord. Yeah, this world's here to judge us. Okay, we gotta we gotta put the right word on there. Okay, 
Give ye ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. You hear that? The words of his mouth. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Out of the mouth of God. This is like Matthew 4.4 4 and Luke 4.4. 4. Luke 4.4 4 is just a little bit different. We're going, we're going, we're going to read it too. We're going to read it too because the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any to it is sword, piercing even into the divine son of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Okay, that was Hebrews 4.12 right there. The Lord just put that one on my heart. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. And Luke, Luke 4, Luke 4.4, 4, right here. <clears throat> what the Bible says, right here, what the Bible says. No, this is not my words, okay? This is the Bible. I am preaching the Bible. Teaching the Bible. This is what's going to last forever. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. By every word of God. By every word of God. We're going to Matthew 4 for one more time. I'll make sure I got that one right, too. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to mislead anybody. I want to lead people to Christ. That's why I'm alive, I believe. I should be dead. Have you read my testimony? Trek here in my neck where I had, where I couldn't breathe. I got a tube on my belly where I used to work, where that was feeding me when I was in a coma. I was in a coma for a day and a half or three days. I'm not sure exactly, but I was in the hospital the whole summer of 1997 with a brain injury. I had to learn how to walk, eat, talk, my name, my family, my friend, all over again. Because I'd been born again. I remember about Birmingham Carroll with his drapes around my bed. And then I was there for about a month. Then I went to Lakeshore Rehab in Homewood, Alabama. There I started walking and eating and talking. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember walking on a, yeah, I remember being in a wheelchair, I do remember that. But here it is, Matthew 4, 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. He is the answer, my friend. He is the rock. Y'all pause one more second. Station. Uh, don't get early curly. I say early curly, that way people know who I am, you know what I mean? I'm curly, Joe Curly. Praise the Lord. I'm here for him. Let's live for Jesus. What are, what are the lost thinking folks? What are the lost thinking folks by procrastinating and putting it off of getting saved? Why, why are they doing that? Why are they doing that when we go to 5 through 6? 3rd through 3rd through 5, 6. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse, crooked, Generation, and I right there says, "Oh yeah, we're all God's children." That's what I was told at work the other day. No, we're not. Only the ones that are saved. Right there, it says that they the, they have corrupted themselves. Their their spot is not the spot of His children. Okay, we gotta be must be born again. Marvin, not that saying that you must be born again. There's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, my friends. In John three seven and Acts four twelve, because. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Are we a perverse? Blah, 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 excuse me. Are we a perverse and crooked generation? Do ye thus requite the Lord, O foolish people, and and unwise? Is is not he thy father that hath bought bought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? He has made us and established us. So let's get reborn, guys. Let's get reborn again by His grace through faith. Let's get saved by His grace through faith, which is not ourselves, which is a gift from God, not our works, lest any man should boast. Any man should boast, my friends. Y'all hear that? Nobody needs to boast and say, Oh, I'm saved. I, I'm okay. I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm okay. Oh, well, yeah. No, no. And you're cussing up a storm. How, what kind of witness are you being for other people that aren't saved? How are the lost going to be saved if they're watching you, Christian, and you're acting like the devil? And you're living like the world. We need to be strong, guys, and good courage. What is, we don't know. They don't know when their last day, nobody knows their day, our last day. Cause what is your life, my friend? What is your life? You, you did something on you. What is your life? Our life is even as a vapor that appears for a little time, but then vanisheth away. It says so in James 4. 14. We never know when this day is going to be over with. We never know our last day. So let's let our children know his rules and and law, okay? His letters, though, our children know his rules and law. We're going to 
Thirty-two, thirty-nine, and forty-six, and forty-seven. Well, first one pulls. One more second. Praise the Lord. My water's about heated up. I'm going to go ahead and get, take me a shower here in a minute. The thirty-nine, here we go. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You hear that? That's Jesus God Almighty right there. God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Blessed Trinity, three in one, the Godhead. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay? See, I'm doing this because it's so important. It's the most important thing in the world. You know what I did yesterday? I worked 16 and a half hours. But I'm still, I, I, I didn't have my alarm clock wake me up. But still, I woke up at 6.30. Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank, 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 thank you, Jesus. He woke us up again. <sighs> he woke us up as his life. It's not our life. This is our Lord and Savior. He is the creator. God created the heavens and the earth. He is in control. He is in control. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Let's follow His Word, guys. Let's follow His Word. The grass with us, our faith, the Word of God shall stand forever. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. That's in John 1, 14 right there. Isaiah 48, as I mentioned earlier, too. We got That was Genesis 1, 1, 2. God created heaven and the earth. Go read his word, memorize it, guys. Let's memorize his word. And we'll go to 46 through 47. Because let's let our children know his rules and law. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the word, all to the words which I testify unto you. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command your children to observe to do. Okay, command your children to observe to do all the words of this law, his Bible. We need to follow the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. It is our life. You hear that? This is our life. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the word. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace. In truth, okay? I'm not trying to be mean or nothing. I'm just trying to be stern. Let people know the truth. We must know the truth and let the truth make us free. It says in John 8, 32. Woohoo, come on, Jesus. The Holy Spirit just popped that one in there. For it is not a vain thing for you because it is your life. And through this thing you shall prolong your days in the land. Whether you go over Jordan to possess it. Okay, let's, let's prolong our days in the land. Let's let people, let people know about Jesus, my friends. Make up your own testimony. I encourage you, my friends. Make up your own testimony how you was before you got saved. And how, Are you saved, though, my friend? Please get, we must be born again. I'll mention that here in a little bit, too. God's so proud. But we, if we're saved by His grace through faith, we need to share His word. Let people know how. Go ye into our world and preach the gospel to every creature. Greater is He that is in me than He. Is in this whole world, okay? That was Mark sixteen fifteen, and uh, first that's first John four 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 yeah first John four four. Please, greater he is than me. He is in the world. Let people know you got Jesus living inside of you. Let people know why you're so joyful. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Let people know about Him by being out your testimony everywhere you go. The joy of the Lord is one of the fruits of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, faithfulness, gentleness, gentleness. Long suffering, meanness, temperance, against such there is no law. Temperance is self control. That means we need to have self control. We need to control ourselves to Jesus. Let Jesus be on our hearts every single moment of the day. Let him control yourself. The flesh and spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes, we, we, we fall short of the glory of God. That's why we're sinners. That's why we gotta get born again. We must be born again. There's none other name under heaven given to my man whereby we must be saved, my friends. We must be saved. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm here. I'm, before we, before we, uh, before we pray and before we pray, and pray and uh, before we sing our last song for our children's sake, because we need to, do, we need to live every single day of our, day of our lives for our children's sake. Because train up a child on the way they should go. When they get old, they will not depart from it. Train ye your children of it. Let their children train their children and their children another generation. We gotta keep it going, guys. Proverbs twenty-two six and First Thessalonians five two. God is so powerful, guys, because all have, we all have sinned and fall short. 
We all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. God commended his love towards us. While we were yet sinners, Christ, he died for us. Is there any of us righteous to get to heaven without Jesus? No, there is none righteous. No, not one. That was Romans 3, 23, 6, 23, 5, 8, 3, 10. Please look it all up. Am I ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ? No, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you, my friends, you shouldn't be ashamed either. We need to go ye into our world, preach the gospel to every creature. It says it in Mark 16, 15, and that was Romans 1, 16. Because thou shalt, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God, who hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, my friends. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, my friends. That says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, 13. If you believe on the name of the Son of God, you know you have eternal life. If you believe on the name of the Son of God. This is First John 5, 13. I wouldn't do this every single day of my life. If it wasn't for my children, I'm doing this for all the children. We need to keep the word in this life. The world's trying to get rid of Jesus. No, we cannot have that. We cannot have that. We need to seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually. It says up in First Chronicles 16, 11. We'll do this for our children's sake. Yeah, please pray with us. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for all you do, Lord. As some of us may, may, may be standing alone because we live, we, we were living for you, Lord, but they, but help her, help us be the light to help others see, Lord. Help us be the light to help others see the truth. And you are the truth. You are the way, the truth, and the life, Lord. Help us, Jesus. God is all, ready is all. Help me here this morning as I sing. Help my boys, whatever they put on doing, my young men. Lord Jesus, help them be strong in the Lord in the power of your might, Lord. Help us all be strong in the Lord in the power of your might. Put on the whole armor of God. Thank you, Jesus. Please help, help us put on the whole armor of God. Thank you so much. Let me read that here just a second, too. What a blessing, Lord. Thank you so much for putting that on my heart just now. Please help us all. God is all. Help, help me read that before I, before I sing. Thank you so much, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. So we're Ephesians 6, 10. Ephesians 6, 10. Ephesians 6, 10. You know what that is? What is that? Let's be 6, 10 through 20. We'll, we'll read Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. You know why? Why I do it? Because this is the most important thing in the world. His Word. He is the Word. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us full of grace and truth. Excuse me. Put on your whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand an evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your having your loins girt about with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication into the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication with for all saints, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, which I am ambassador in bonds, that I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, as I ought to speak. You hear that? People say, oh, you can't talk about Jesus. Okay, so you can cuss all day, you can lust, you can you can swear, you can make dirty jokes, but it's, I can't talk about my Lord. No, what in the world is going on with this world today, guys? we got to be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, with us forever. Thou goest. Hello, good morning, Miss Kathy. Hey, hey, man, please watch the whole thing. I've been going to learn. I worked a double yes, yesterday, but I'm still, st actually, it's 30 minutes over a double, but still, praise the Lord. I still got, I got to seek the Lord in the strength. My water's about heated up now. I got to take me a shower. But God is amazing, guys and gals. Let's seek the Lord, and we must do this for our children's sake. Yes. For the sake of my children, I will guard the gates. And if I must walk alone, I'm not going any place. Entertainment, teach, preach, teach perversion with our fingers in our face. I will lift the Holy Bible, get down on my knees. I will take a stand for righteousness, whatever it costs me. Whew. Our nation 
has lost its values. Our leaders have walked away. For it's up to me to me to you to rise and stand for our children's sake. For it's up to me to you to rise and stand for our children's sake. For it's up to me to you to rise and stand for our children's sake. Let's do it, guys. Let's get it every day, praising the Lord for our children's sake, okay? Go ye into all our peace gospel to every creature, my friends. That says in million arts. Mark 6 says, I mentioned three times, I think already. Well, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. It's Herbal Curly. Bye-bye.